don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel there are now three uploads on there assalamu alaikum you beautiful people and welcome to another episode of smile to jenna bollywood actress piang 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 regroup bollywood actress priyanka chopra had an interview with oprah <laughs> it was this particular bit that i saw it was a bit questionable let's have a look i grew up in you know a convent school like when i went to school so i i was aware of christianity my dad used to sing in a mosque i was aware of islam <laughs> while some people will start going what no what is she saying? Why is this happening? The jaw is coming. The jaw is coming. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah? You have to understand. Yeah? And you have to give some allowances. If a non Muslim say something deliberately to defame and disparage Islam, of course, get frustrated, get annoyed. However, if somebody out of ignorance says something, not deliberately, and it's based upon their own understanding, then got to cut them some slack, yeah? Educate them, rather than getting angry. Priyanka was talking about other religions. I think in, in India, it's hard not to, you're right. Like, you know, with the swirling number of religions that we have that live within the country as well. Yeah, they sing in the Hindu uh, temples. They sing in the Christian churches. And they may sing in other religious places as well. However, there are other religious institutions like the synagogues of the Jews and the mosques of the Muslims and quite possibly the temples of the Buddhists as well that they don't sing, they recite. Okay, so as Muslims, we revere our religion. Yeah, even though unfortunately or sadly, we may not be the torchbearers and that could be you know, two main reasons. One, the way the media depicts us. And number two, the greed. Yeah, how Muslims have allowed money to enter their hearts whilst there was a time and from our tradition we're told to be like the ship on the water. Yeah, the ship does well if the water doesn't go inside the ship. Yeah, it sails perfectly. But as soon as the water starts going inside the ship, problems occur. Similarly with Muslims, we're fine. Yeah, as long as the money is outside of our hearts. But when the money starts seeping into our hearts, that's when our heart starts to sink as well. Yeah, but anyway, I digress. But the point here, guys, is some of you might be thinking, why? Yeah, why? We should say something like this. Now, you got to understand, yeah, be empathetic. Honestly, I don't think uh, Muslims have, and it's not really our fault, like the mainstream media doesn't give mainstream Muslims an opportunity to talk and clarify Islamic misconceptions. Anytime you see the BBC or Channel 4 talking about Islam, it's something controversial. It's something that is clear cut and they want to cause debate on it, whether it's the hijab or whether the homosexuals or whatever it is. It's deliberately there to incite us and then ha, ah, the religion of peace. <laughs> but hang on a minute, Muslims do have a right to get frustrated and Muslims do get frustrated. But our anger is mostly disproportionately shown in the media so there yeah, was it was quite interesting but to priyanka mosques our mosques are known as the house of allah not because he resides in it but because of the sanctity that a house has to us therefore allah has also called the mosque his house because of the sanctity and importance it holds so as muslims when we go there we worship we keep our voices low. Yes, singing can take place in forms of nasheeds, but that's not necessarily singing. Again, that's like reciting a poem. Nevertheless, I invite you to look into the religion. Um, and it did seem like an honest mistake, to be honest. And it does make sense. And I hope that this will encourage the Muslims to think, you know what? A lot of these people don't know about our religion. And now with social media, rather than going and lip syncing to uh music tracks and doing these weird tiktok videos maybe maybe you can every now and then educate people on the dean as well how about that yeah that will be good and maybe wean yourself off that because there'll be plenty of time for merry making in gender yeah let's get this straight guys we want to merry make here look at what's going on around us 
if this doesn't motivate us into becoming better people and representing our faith and and, and, and educating people because people are in desperate need of Islam, especially now during COVID, you know, during COVID and everything, people are questioning their ideals and we should be there to educate them. May Allah give us the ability to sit at the feet of scholars and learn from them, revere them and respect them. And may Allah give us the ability to then disseminate that knowledge in creative and halal forms to the masses. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.